cooking on the homestead today is we're going to have some ham steaks and we're going to top them with uh, peach slices. Now what we're going to need is a half a cup of the peach uh, juice that's in the can. You're going to need one tablespoon of corn uh, starch which is right there. You're going to need one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves which we have. You're going to need half a cup of orange juice and as well as the peeling of the um, orange. About a tablespoon or a teaspoon, depending on how you like it. I'm going to use about a teaspoon. So I'm just going to get that ready and I'll bring it back. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn our heat on to medium while our ham is cooking up. And we're going to take our half a cup of peach juice liquid that we reserved from the can when we drained off our peaches. And we're just going to put that into the pot or the saucepan or whatever you want to call it. Now what we're going to do as well is we're going to take the tablespoon of cornstarch and we're going to add that in together and as well as one fourth of the cloves which I have right here. Now we're going to stir that constantly and we're going to add in one tablespoon of the orange peeling. I'm sorry, one teaspoon. You don't want to add too much of that in. And I just have a little tool. I'm just going to rinse that off. What we're going to do now is we're going to add in our orange peel, which is right there, and as well as a half a cup of orange juice, and we have that right here. And we're just going to cook it. We're going to mix it together thoroughly, and then once it starts bubbling, we're going to actually uh, add in the peach slices. So I'm just going to bring you back once we get to that point. We now have our ham in a casserole. We're just going to put it in the oven. We're going to heat it up for about eight to seven minutes, flip it over and do the other side as well. And while we're doing that, we're going to make our sauce. As it starts to mix together, it has a creamy light brown color. So we're just going to continue to cook it and I'll let it bring it back. It is now thick and starting to bubble. So we're going to add in the peaches. So I'm just going to take those and add them in. And I'm going to just mix them up and heat them until they're thoroughly heated. Looks fantastic. So we're just going to continue to heat it, then we're going to serve it on top of the ham. Once it's all heated up, you're going to take it with a slotted spoon, and you're just going to top it over your ham. And you're going to mix about a serving for about eight. So enjoy, and like, subscribe, and I'll show you what it looks like. And thanks for watching.